May was a dry month, not only for Louisiana, but for much of the country. Joining us now with this week's bottom line is Neil Malasson. And Neil, earlier in the program, we talked about how Louisiana soybean growers need rain. And apparently that's the case all across the country right now. They're certainly feeling the dryness in the Midwest, Mike. While many areas have gotten some rain, the overall pattern for May was dry and it's reflected in the latest crop condition scores. Overall across the country, crop scores have dropped 5% for corn from 77 to 72% good to excellent. Corn emergence stands right now at 92% compared with soybeans, as you mentioned, which are about 61% emerged. Many of the Midwest states took even bigger hits. Indiana, for example, dropped 14 percentage points from 70% good to excellent to 56 as pockets of dryness there are reducing the crop ratings drastically. The bottom line here is that we're in weather markets at this time of year, not just because any little rain event or crop condition report affects the markets, but because with so much of the crop already emerged, rain becomes crucial in making this corn crop happen. All that early planning we saw this spring means the rains have to come earlier in the season as well. Long term, we might be looking at more of the same. While we do have some rain events in the forecast for both the corn growing regions as well as Louisiana, Mike, the overall weather predictions we're hearing calls for mostly dry conditions overall this summer. Well, Neil, let's hope we can quickly return to those 2.30 afternoon showers that a few years ago you were able to set your watch to. Neil Malanson, thanks. And remember, you can listen to any of Neil's daily radio reports on the Louisiana Farm Bureau radio network for a list of stations where you can tune in or listen online. Click on over to our website, twilighttv.org, and look for the LFB radio link on the left side of the home page. That does it for this edition of This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. Be sure to join us next week when we'll show you what rice farmers are learning from the LSU Ag Center and how the Lacassine Rail Facility will help those rice growers. Until then, you can watch any of our stories online. Just visit our website, twilighttv.org. For all of us here at This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, I'm Michael Dana. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope to see you again right here next week.